In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Flutter package file picker. As you can see here this is the sample app we're going to build today. When you click on this button pick file it opens up the pop-up for picking a file and then as you're usually used to you can then just simply browse here and then pick a file and then once we've picked the file we just simply print out the path here. We can also pick multiple files, pick a directory or for Linux, Mac OS and web you can also save the file somewhere. Another thing I'm still going to mention is how to save a file on Firebase. Let's get started. So as mentioned, we're going to use the Flutter package file picker. Just click on here to copy it to your clipboard. Then in your pubspec.yaml file, underneath your dependencies, paste it in here and run pubget. That's all we need to do for the setup. Concerning the layout, I simply built a very simple Flutter app and within the scaffold I have a body and this body has a centered column with four elevated buttons. In between those buttons there are size boxes and then lastly another size box and a text. And here I defined a global variable called underscore file text so it's private and, and whenever we pick a file we reassign this file text so that it shows here. Now let's look at how we can use the pick file function. First of all of course import file picker also dart io and foundation. Then we can use the file picker. Make sure that your function is asynchronous. And then we can use the file picker dot platform dot pick files. Here you can also define whether you want to only allow specific extensions. So if this was not commented, then you would only be allowed to pick JPEGs, PDFs or doc files. Other things you can also define in here. You can allow multiple. So this is set to false by default and some other parameters you can also define, but this is out of the scope of this tutorial. So once we've picked the file, then we get a result, which is file pick a result. And then first we have to check if the result is not null. And also we can check whether the single file, the path is not null, so that we know that the path exists and the file exists so that we can use it. One thing that you can then do is use platform file. And then with this platform file, you can then print out the name the byte size extension and path. Otherwise, if you want to use a normal file instead of a platform file, as you can see here, then you simply put in the path here. We force unwrap this with the exclamation point because we've previously checked whether this is not null. And then once we have the file, then we can simply assign our file text with the path and then it's going to show us the path. So again, if you pick a file here and then let's say we pick this file here, then it's going to show the path here. So if the result is null, then the user canceled the picker. Now, as mentioned, if you want to pick multiple files, you simply put in this parameter here, allow multiple to true. And then once again, you check whether the result is not null. And then from this result, you can use the path and map it to a list of files. And then we set this list of files to string so that we can show it in the file text. So let's see how we can pick multiple files. So on iOS, you open up the file picker again and then Press on here to select and then can select the multiple files and then click on open. And as you can see here now we have a list and within this list we have the first file here, comma, and then the second file here. Then concerning picking a directory, we again can use the file picker dot platform and then use get directory path. And then we have the selected directory. If this is not null, then we can use the selected directory. Otherwise the user canceled the picker. So let's click on pick directory. And as you can see here now, we can select the directory here. In this case, we're going to use a test directory. And as you can see here now, it shows us the test directory. Now, finally, concerning saving a picked file, as mentioned, this only works currently on Linux, Mac OS and Windows. If you go to the pub.dev website and the package specifications, you can see here a table of what is currently supported. So as mentioned, save file is currently not supported for Android, iOS and web. So only for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. This is for my current point in time. Maybe if you're watching this later on, this will be fixed. Otherwise, I did a similar tutorial where you can pick images and then save these images to your files. So you first have to convert the image to a file and then save this file. And for this, I simply put in the link for the tutorial here. So if you want to save a file on Android or iOS or web, then go ahead and watch this tutorial. So that's why I'm also checking here if we're currently running our app in web iOS or Android, then we simply return. Because if you run this on Android or iOS or web, it will give you an error. So for saving, you simply can use again the file picker platform.save file. You can set dialog title 
and the file name of course this is just hard coded here you can change it to whatever you want it to and once again you can check whether the output file here is null then you can cancel the picker otherwise you can display a message to the user that it was saved successfully for example lastly i'm going to explain you briefly how to save a file on firebase of course you will have to have all the setup with the firebase in your app already and you will also need the firebase storage and for example here again you just pick a file then if this result is not null you first get the file bytes by using your result dot files dot first dot bytes then you have your file name and then you can use firebase storage and then here this is an example directory name then here your file name and then you upload the file with the file bytes as so i hope you like this tutorial please leave a like and subscribe if you have any questions feel free to ask them down below in the comments and thank you for watching